Shalom. First and foremost, I'm going to give all the glory, honor, and praise unto Yahweh, Bahasim, Yahweh Shai, Bahasim, Rakahakwadash. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone, along with the bishops and elders who rule and teach the church well. And salutations to the elect of Yasharala, the Bayat Shadawada, which is the house of David. This is the book of Exodus, chapter 15, and verse 1. Then sang Moses and the children of Israel the song unto the Lord, Yahweh, and spake, saying, I will sing unto the Lord, Yahweh. Right, and that's what we're doing in these last days. As his servants, the prophets, all right, the hopeful elect, starting with the apostles of Great Millstone on down, we're singing a new song on the highways and byways throughout the four corners of the earth. All right, which is the truth, the truth of the Bible. All right, it's the new song we're singing. All right, preaching this word. It says, again, from the top, Exodus chapter 15, verse 1, Then sang Moses and the children of Israel this song unto the Lord, Yahweh, and spake, saying, I will sing unto the Lord, Yahweh, for he hath triumphed gloriously. And you know what? He's getting ready to triumph gloriously through his only begotten son, Yahweh Shah, whom he is fixing to send back to this earth, all right, with power and great glory, all right, to destroy, all right, Esau's power structure, right, the so-called white man beginning with his elites, all right, the international bankers, all right, he's going to destroy America, and he's going to destroy, all right, the nations, he's getting ready to triumph gloriously, man, like he did in the ancient world. All right. It says, For he hath triumphed gloriously. The horse and his rider hath he thrown into the sea. Verse 2 The Lord Yahweh is my strength and song, and he has become my salvation. He is my power, and I will prepare him in habitation, my father's power, and I will exalt him. And that's what the men of the Lord are doing. Again, it all starts with the 144,000. All right. The prophets of Yahweh Bahasim Yahweh Shai. All right, that's where it starts. It says, My father's power, and I will exalt him. Verse 3 The Lord Yahweh is a man of war. The Lord Yahweh is his name. See, our power is a man of war. Again, Yahweh Shai, he's coming back to do what? He's coming back to judge and make war. And that's pursuant to. Revelation, the 19th chapter. He's coming back to wage war on this earth, man. All right, he's going to wait again. He's going to wage war on Esau, the nations, and even two thirds of his own people, man. Two thirds of Yasharala, which is you so called blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians. You are the Lord's chosen people, along with the Israelite foreigners and speckled bird. That's what the Lord's coming back to do. He's a man of war. He ain't coming back with flowers. In one hand and candy in the other. All right. He ain't coming, you know, to, to, to pass out hugs. Nah. Our power is a man of war. Yahweh Bahasim Yahweh Shai. Verse 4 Pharaoh's chariots and his host hath he cast into the sea. His chosen captains also are drowned in the Red Sea. And, and right, and <clears throat> he's getting ready to drown Esau, okay, who is the modern day Pharaoh. All right. In, 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 in a lake of fire, man. All right? That's what he's getting ready to do, man. Again, he's getting ready to triumph gloriously. And the prophets is going to be singing about it, man. All right? And that's pursuant to uh, Revelation 15. Let me get that and I'll come back. And this is Revelation chapter 15 and verse... One and I saw another sign in heaven, great and marvelous, seven angels having the seven last plagues, for in them is filled up the wrath of Yahweh Bahasim Yahweh Shai. And that last plague is the plague of the nukes, man. Okay? Those ICBMs and incontinental ballistic missiles. It says, And I saw as it were a sea of glass where it was to mingle with fire, and them that had gotten the victory over the beast. This is talking about the hundred and forty four thousand. Alright, because the hundred and forty four thousand are going to get the victory over the beast. All right. NATO, the EU. All right. Esau. All right. It says, And them that have gotten the victory over the beast and over his image. 
all right, which is his NWO construct and all that it encompasses, all right, and and over his mark, all right, that charagma, all right, and over the number of his name stand on the sea of glass, having the harps of Yahweh, right? See that sea of glass that represents the prophets looking down on the destruction of America, man, looking down on that fire, okay? And what and what are they going to be doing? Hopefully, that's us, man. All right, Lord willing, we're a part of this. All right, singing, man. <laughs> we're going to be singing. At what? Well, here it is in verse three. All right, Revelation chapter fifteen, verse three. And they sing the song of Moses, the servant of Yahweh, and the song of the Lamb. All right, saying, "Great and marvelous are thy works." Right. This is going to be a marvelous work the Lord does, man. All right, destroying the, the 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 most wicked and most powerful kingdom ever to be raised up in the earth. It's going to be a marvelous work of the Lord, a a wondrous work. <laughs> it says, <clears throat> and they sing the song of Moses, the servant of Yahweh, and the song of the Lamb, saying, Great and marvelous are thy works, Lord, power almighty, just and true are thy ways, thou king of saints. That's right, man. It's going to be a beautiful sight, man. That's going to be the reward, okay, that the prophets are waiting for. All right? Looking down upon the destruction, again, of Babylon the Great, a.k.a. America. Go back to Exodus 15. In verse 4, Exodus chapter 15 and verse 4, Pharaoh's chariots and his hosts hath he cast into the sea. His chosen captains also are drowned in the Red Sea. Verse 5, the depths have covered them. They sank into the bottom as a stone. Verse 6, thy right hand. All right, which, who's that? Who's the right hand of the Lord? All right, the right hand of the Lord is Yahweh Shai. Okay, the second in command, it says, thy right hand, O Lord, Yahweh has become glorious in power. Thy right hand, O Lord, Yahweh hath dashed in pieces the enemy. Doesn't it say that in the scriptures? That he's going to dash into pieces the, the nations? Yeah, man. Hold on. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 2. And verse 7. I will, de I will declare the decree. The Lord Yahweh has said unto me, Thou art my son. This day have I begotten thee. Right. The the Lord and Savior Yahweh Shai. All right. He's the first and only begotten of the Heavenly Father. All right. The, the first spirit created. Okay. The firstborn says, Thou art my son. This day have I begotten thee. Verse 8. Ask of me and I shall give thee the heathen for thine inheritance and the uttermost parts of the earth for thy possession. Thou shalt break them with a rod of iron. Verse 9. Thou shalt dash them in pieces like a potter's vessel. That's what the Lord's coming back to do, man. Again, the Lord ain't coming back all happy, go lucky. All right, he's coming to do a lot of damage, man. He's coming to break shit up. He's coming up to break up the kingdoms of this earth and to snatch crowns. Okay, and to judge the nations, man. How's he going to judge the nations? Through his elect men. All right. Let's go back to Exodus. Chapter 15. And verse 7. And in the greatness of thine excellency, thou hast overthrown them that rose up against thee. Thou sentest forth thy wrath, which consumed them as stubble. Right. And that's what he's getting ready to do, man. Okay. Burn this place up. Okay, it says in the scriptures in uh, 2 Thessalonians that the Lord's coming back with fire. You know, it talks about that in the book of Isaiah, the 66th chapter as well. You know, and this is this is going to be a wondrous work. Just like he, he read about the destruction, okay, of ancient Egypt and ancient Egyptians and Hamites. Okay, that was a wondrous work. All right, and he's getting ready to do another wondrous work in this earth. All right. Just 
the book of Psalms, chapter 106. Let's see. Where is it? Yeah, here it is. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 106 and verse 21. They forgot Yahweh their Savior, which had done great things in Egypt. Verse 22, wondrous works in the land of Ham, right, which we just read about in Exodus 15, and terrible things by the Red Sea. Therefore, he, he said that he would destroy them, verse 23, had not Moses his chosen stood before him in the breach to turn away his wrath, lest he should destroy them. Yeah, man, but the point is in verse 22, wondrous work. That was a wondrous work that the Lord did, you know? And the nations fear, all right? And the nations are getting ready to fear again. They're getting ready to fear Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, all right? Allah Shadja, which means terrible demon-like power in the Paleo-Hebrew tongue. Because that's what our Lord is, all right? He's a terrible power in this earth, man. He's getting ready to burn this place up, all right? And it's going to shake even the prophets, man, all right? And it's going to cause us to sing, all right? So again, Lord willing, we're a part of that number, all right, standing on that sea of glass mingled with fire, looking down on the destruction. That's a wondrous work, man. All right, how could you not sing about that? How could you not give praises and glory to Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai? All right? Yeah, man, we got to read about these things from time to time, you know, the things that the Lord did in, 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 in the ancient times, in the ancient world. Okay? But again... A greater destruction is coming. All right. Let's go to Ecclesiasticus, man. I'll wrap it up. Yeah, wondrous works, man. Wondrous works the Lord has done and, and will do. This is the book of Ecclesiasticus or Sirach, chapter 15, verse 22. Now, therefore, bless ye. The power of all, right? Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shah, which only doeth wondrous things everywhere, right? Which exalteth our days from the womb and dealing with and dealeth like it with us according to his mercy. That's how he's gonna deal with his elect. Alright, starting with the hundred and forty four thousand. It always starts with his servant the prophet. He's also gonna deal with that multitude of believing Israelites. He's gonna deal with them. Alright. <coughs> like it according to his mercy okay but two-thirds all right are going to be destroyed man all right two-thirds of our people are going to be destroyed all right when this destruction comes when the missiles are shot and right, they're going to perish in that lake of fire man they're going to be drowned in that lake of fire all right two-thirds of you so-called blacks hispanics and native american indians who are the lord's chosen people is going to perish on the side all right for rejecting the lord you help us in outside and his prophets. All right. Along with you Israelite forms of speckled birds. So yeah, just a quick lesson. On Exodus. Chapter 15. Verses 1. Through 7. And Lord willing it was edifying. And with that I want to say Shalom. And it's on to the next video.